Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Academy Award time again, and Hollywood is the home of many a famous actor, director, and screenwriter. Among the infamous are two ambitious writers who are not up for an award. So let's meet Rosemarie and her collaborator, Sidney Miller. Rose, listen to this. Mm. Producers plan to make a million dollar movie based on the nation's top hit song. Yeah, what's the title? I'll give my thanks on Thanksgiving for winding up with a turkey like you. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, get a load of this. What? Lerner and Lowe anticipate three million dollars income from their songs in Camelot. Well, so what? Anything they can do, we can do. Oh, I don't know, Rose. They're, they're, they're songwriters. We're screenwriters. Songwriters, screenwriters. Look, words are words. You just add a little music and bing. <laughs> I wish we could write a song Bing could sing. <laughs> A picture song, maybe. Sidney, that's it. What? That's it. We'll write title songs for movies. That have no title songs, right? Right. Every movie ought to have a vital title song. In Hollywood, a title song is it. The title you can hum plugs the picture that it's from, which soon becomes the most colossal hit. Right on top is where we both belong. We can write a motion picture song. Right. You know, Sidney, mm -hmm. we should have written a song for Dr. Zhivago. Do no, no, Rose. Dr. Zhivago had a song. That ain't all he had. He had the measles, the mumps, the no, chicken pox. <laughs> no, Sidney, listen to me. What I mean is, Dr. Zhivago should have a title song. Ah, all, all right. right. All right, here's a medicinal intro. Okay, go. Good. Dr. Zhivago, come back to Chicago. Have I got a girl for you? As long as you'll dress her, she'll move to Odessa and work in the hospital, too. Thank you. That's a medical masterpiece. No, oh, we're just what the doctor ordered. What a team. What a team. What? Team, you said it. What'd I say? You said it again. What? You see, we should have written Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> we'd have never gotten an answer. Yeah, but we'd have gotten an Oscar. You think? I've got an idea. Oh, we've got, we'll got, got an idea. What are you going to do? Okay. That's a lady's hat. You didn't see the picture, huh? Give me that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's more. Wait, wait. Hey, Nanny, Nanny, right get here. a lot of bonnies. Here's one for you, one gun for me. Right. Bonnie and Clyde, Bonnie and Clyde. I want to kiss and hug it. But I want to hide. Where can we play? Where can we run? Where am I going to practice with my new Tommy gun? Bonnie and Clyde, Bonnie and Clyde. Blend together side by side. Changed all our cars into big tanks. We stole from the poor, stole from the swanks. All the day long, robbing them banks. But just before we shot you, we would always say thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Rosemary, Rosemary, you're a living doll. I think I'm a dying doll. <laughs> hey, what? that's another one. You see how you come up with them? What? The Valley of the Dolls. But that picture has a title song. All right, so we'll write a better one. Why not? All right. Go. In the Valley of the Dolls. Cute. In the Valley of the Dolls. There's a doll for everyone in the valley of the dolls. Listen to what I got. Give me one. Listen. Now there is a Richard Nixon doll who runs when he is beckoned. But let him race another doll and watch him come in second. <laughs> Two. You gave me one. Give me, I got you. Give me an idea. A doll named Bobby Kennedy has LBJ perplexed. You pull a string and hear him say, I'm next, I'm next, I'm next. <laughs> Watch this one. What? See the Shirley Temple doll? You can't help but adore it. You wind it up, it makes a speech, but no one's voting for it. In the valley of the dolls, in the valley of the dolls, there's a doll for everyone in the valley of the dolls.
I gotta tell you this, there are some great pictures around, really. Yeah, the Dirty Dozen. Yeah. Sid, guess who's coming to dinner? The Dirty Dozen? <laughs> the name of the picture, Dumb Dumb. Guess who's coming to dinner? Guess picture. who's coming to dinner? You gave it to me. Title right now. song, right? Got the title song. Go ahead. Little waltz type. All right. It's coming, it's coming. Good. When LBJ came home last evening, he showed Lady Bird he has wit. He said, guess who's coming to dinner? Nasser and Castro and Earth the Kid. <laughs> Same dinner. Right. Same dinner. Lady Bird said to her, Linden, I also invited Kosegan. And that isn't all. On your left is De Gaulle. On the right, there's Ronnie Reagan. <laughs> Rose, you got my vote. I'm sorry, Sidney. That's a money song. Hey, speaking of money, do you know how much money it took to make Agony in the Ecstasy? Well, whatever it was, we could have doubled it by writing a title song for the picture. Title song, huh? No, no, no. On second thought, who'd have sung it? Charlton Heston did the role. Oh, yeah, he doesn't sing the, the low. Well, then no. strains through his beard. No, that couldn't. Yeah, be. but roll. Roll, roll. Rock and roll. Rock he and said, roll? Rock and Agony roll. in the Ecstasy? Yes, come on. Go, man, go. Come on. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. oh, and you're out with someone new. I'm in agony. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, the agony oh. and the ecstasy. Oh, oh the agony oh. and the ecstasy oh. on you.